Hey guys, Jeff with Westcott Designs. So we took some measurements on these CV axles. When we fully compress these axles on end, they are all the exact same length as far as when they're compressed. But if you look here on the CVs, the CV boot and the CV, the joint itself here is larger on these two, much larger um, as far as overall length. It's hard to see here but the only way for us to get a true measurement would be to pop the clips off of here and then measure from the flange here back to the seal back here to where it seats. When we measure the axle size though, we're one millimeter uh, larger on the red than we are here on the black and we are one half uh, millimeter larger on the silver than we are on the red. But if you measure right here where the flange is, uh, we are the exact same size uh, on the axle. So the axle part in between here, yes, it is a little bit smaller in diameter. Um, from what we can tell here, the overall size of the cups on both this side and this side are the same, and they are the same on this side and this side, but we're considerably longer, you can see, on this cup than we are on this cup here. Let's see if I can get an overhead here. but. That's on both sides here. So that difference is to allow, so the axle has additional cup space. So at full droop or full steering lock in four wheel drive, as it tries to load up the suspension, it allows the axle to grow within these cups without coming out. So this is the standard traditional, the black axle that comes in most of these. This is the off-road axle, and this is the TRD kit axle that's on this one. But with that being said, these two are both great options if you're going to lift your truck and you're going to go over two and a half inches. This axle is not a good option over two and a half inches. So you can buy these axles for about $100 less per axle than you can buy the red ones for. So if you have the option and you're going to put axles in your truck, the silver axle that comes in the TRD kit is a better option as far as price goes. And it is, like I said, it's another half millimeter larger in diameter than this one, but the cup size um, from here appears to be the same on both left and right. So I uh, wanted to share that with you. Hopefully that's some good information for you. And if you do have any, uh, anything you'd like to know about these, please don't hesitate to reach out. But we've tried to do a comparison for you so you can see the difference here on the overview on this and this. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.